Hello, my brothers. Welcome to another episode of JP's Corner. Today, we're going to talk about short beards, baby beards, little beards. Because this, I did for you. Mainly so I could show you guys how to take care of a short beard and the importance of having good product and awesome beard tools. Little beard, medium beard, wizard beard, they all need the epicness I'm about to show you. So let's get started right now. All right, my brothers. So the very first thing you want to do is you want to wash your beard. It doesn't matter if it's, you know, a couple inches or if it's baby fuzz or whatever on your face or if it's a long wizard beard, you want to make sure you keep it clean. The whole reason behind the wash is to keep your beard clean and do it naturally. So with all the 100% natural ingredients that you'll find in our beard wash, it's going to cleanse your beard, cleanse your skin, take all the, the, the nastiness away, but not strip the oils out of your beard, which are going to help your beard grow because the oils are there. The wash. Now, generally I would just do this in the shower. We have a sink here, but you guys get the point. Put a little bit in the palm of your hand, you know, and put the leather and all up to let it go crazy. And then rinse it out, dry yourself off, get out of the shower, and head to step number two. Two. <laughs> all right, my brothers, step number two, oil. Now, the greatest thing about the beard oil is the beard oil is not for your beard, it's for your skin underneath your beard because as your beard grows out, your natural oils, the sebum oils in your skin will tend to not be able to catch up with the hairs and that leaves two things. Your beard gets really crazy and dry and it can lead to beard drift. Nobody wants to be like, you know, going like this with their beard and have snow on their shirt. I don't. So we use beard oil. Now, this is my process for the beard oil. Get that top off. Okay, a couple of drops in the palm of your hand. Tap the bottom of the bottle, good to go. And then get it rubbed into your fingertips. And then up underneath your beard. Mmm, this smells so good. <laughs> get it up underneath there. And Little bit there. Even if you have any left over, you know, on your tattoos. Beard oil is great for your tattoos, by the way. You know, on your arms, on your head, wherever else you want to put it. It's good to go. And that, step number two. Let's move on to the third step. Third step. Well, my brothers. Step number three. Now, step number two, quick recap, we use the oil. That means that the oil is on our skin, underneath our beard. Our skin is now nourished and it's feeding our beard the nourishment that it needs, keeping it moisturized and just awesome. So, what do we need for our beard itself? We need the beard butter. Why do we need the beard butter? Beard butter is a deep leave-in conditioner that's going to help soften your beard. Even a beard this short still needs the beard butter. And use the beard butter because you want to start training that beard to be soft and to have all those flyaways and on a short beard. You can see, you know, you can see the I got a bunch of flyaways right here. You know, this is like a week after my trim, so I need to, you know, zip those down. That video is coming. Just stay tuned. But here's how I do the beard butter. Open it up. <sighs> Smells so nice. I don't need very much from my beard. A little bit goes a long way. So we're only gonna use a tiny bit. Palm your hand. I just say, Mr. Miyagi that. Remember, Danielson. <sighs> and once it's emulsified, that goes on your beard. And you can get up underneath there, or get between the, the beard hairs like so. Ooh, get that up there, just like that. Let's go on to the last and final step. Step. The final step that I do 
this is my routine, so it's what I do. I've got myself my hair dryer. Now this happens to be my, my gingery traveling hair dryer. It's tiny, like my beard, thanks to you guys. Anyway, here's what we're gonna be doing. Okay, we're gonna take the hair dryer, and I just do it on high because my beard is used to it, and I've never had any breaking or drying or weirdness happen. So now what I wanna do is I'm gonna take the comb using the little bearded beard comb. On high, we're gonna go from underneath, like this, and go up underneath, and then from the top, I'm gonna come on underneath, and then we're going to shape it like so, like this. Tool number two, boar's hairbrush. Now for a shorter beard, I like to use the boar's hairbrush because it really gets in there between the hairs and it helps to spread the butter out in deeper, further than your fingers do. So that we're gonna do the same thing with this. It's gonna be on high, I'm gonna be aiming it down so the air is going down across my beard and I'm just going to comb or brush my beard like so. So let's do this. So the boar's hairbrush, you're gonna find it's gonna help you with those flyaways and help to train them to lay down instead of popping up and flying all over the place. So this is a great investment for a short beard, a shorter beard. Or maybe you have a long goatee and a short sideburn, that'll do the same thing. And then just to end it off, I take the bamboo brush and just curl out. I've got little curls or a little wave right here. You can see it kind of jets off to one side. So as a shorter beard, I want to try and get up underneath that and just train those to lay down. So I'll go up underneath and then down on the top again and getting that beard where I want it to be. Now the biggest thing about using all of this product and these beard tools is not to style your beard and not to really, you know, get it all prim and proper. It's to start training your beard as it grows out to do what you want it to do. So if you have a little curl like this, little weird Nike swoosh thing that my beard likes to do, as it grows out and I'm continually using the product and the beard tools, it's gonna straighten that beard out and it's gonna just lay where I want it to as it gets longer. And my brothers, that is my beard routine every morning. Stay tuned for the next episode of JP's Corner because you never know what I'm gonna do, where I'm gonna be, or how I'm gonna be doing it. But my brothers, always be grateful, do better, and my brothers, live beardy.